So it's been another year of more White House comings and goings than I could possibly list, even if we had an hour-long show. In the area with perhaps the biggest shakeups, Trump's legal team, though his TV lawyer, as he's called, Rudy Giuliani, appears to be going nowhere, literally and figuratively. Of course, some of those changes may have something to do with the special counsel's investigation, which over the past year has exploded. Since it began more than 18 months ago, Robert Mueller and his team have filed close to 200 criminal charges, resulting in 36 indictments or guilty pleas and five prison sentences. Among the issue Mueller is looking into are Russian interference in the 2016 election, who knew what about WikiLeaks DNC document dumps and when, the planned Trump Tower project in Moscow, possible obstruction of justice by the president or others, the activity of former campaign chair Paul Manafort, who first agreed to cooperate with investigators then lied to them about his contact with Trump administration officials and other campaign officials' contacts with Russia before and after the election. And that doesn't even get into all the non-Mueller investigations that have sprung up, including probes into the funding of Trump's super PAC and inauguration, potential foreign lobbying violations, possible Trump tax scams, the now infamous emoluments clause, the Trump Foundation charity, which they've just agreed to dissolve, the hush money paid to Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, where court documents identify someone as individual one, essentially naming Trump an unindicted co-conspirator. And believe it or not, those are not exhaustive lists, but I'm exhausted listing them. Exactly. And the president's reaction to it all is this. The entire thing has been a witch hunt, and uh, there is no collusion between certainly myself and my campaign. There was no collusion whatsoever. Where is the collusion? Find some collusion. I think we've wasted enough time on this witch hunt. And the answer is probably, uh, we're finished. I'm going to go down the list here. If one of you are all Trump's lawyers, and you're all lawyers, and, uh, uh, and he said to you, uh, Ms. Lawyer, Mr. Lawyer, what should I be most worried about on that long list that Jim Browdy just read? What would you tell him? The second page. What's the second page? The, the foundation, the emoluments, the corruption, not the Russia stuff, not the collusion stuff. That's a total red herring. Um, the personal corruption, any of the allegations, that the tax stuff, the personal corruption stuff. What do you think uh, he should most be worried about? The first page, because I do believe that there was Russian interference. I believe that the campaign was complicit and, and was working, whether he was as knowledgeable as uh, it appears. But I do believe that's coming, and I believe Mueller's investigation will reveal it. Uh, I, I'm shocked that there's any Republican or Democrat that doesn't know that this is coming. See if we have a former prosecutor. Oh, we do have a former prosecutor. Oh, wow. So I'm going to say both pages. Okay. Uh, and, 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 you know, you look at those numbers, it's sort of Mueller team 36, Trump team zero. I mean, this is just headed in a direction that can't be good for Trump and his lawyers. I wouldn't be one of his lawyers, by the way, because I wouldn't be able to advise him on any of these circumstances. But I think the emoluments clause and the corruption where Trump is lining his own pockets through being president will affect American people before maybe some of the other issues. Well, and if you, if you look at the indictments that have come down, none of them really, most of them have to do with lying or, or corruption. They don't have to do with influencing the campaign. And as you and I have talked about many times, you know, receiving information from a foreign government is not illegal in and of itself. So the notion that they're going to be able to prove some link, that there was a quid pro quo where the Trump administration got the Russians to do something on their behalf, I think the chances of that are very slim. I don't Still think that early, happened. You know, I, I mean, don't it, think that happened. This so, is, go this ahead. Is, as the, we have the attorney, former attorney general sitting here, I'd imagine this investigatory process plays out that some of these, uh, if you want to argue, lesser charges happen leading up to what we, he will eventually bring. We need to wait on that and see what he brings. Do, the the Democrats the, have, do your fellow Democrats know how to handle this? I, I'm serious. I'm, I mean, Larry Tribe was here the other night who's He's taught in constitutional law. Did, he have, did you have him? Were you no, in his I class? Did not. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, you know, from Barack Obama on down the list, he thinks that despite that Justice Department memo in 1973, that a sitting president, in fact, can be indicted. And he's, I, I don't want to speak that part, I can speak for him. He seems pretty convinced that he could be and might be indicted. Do you agree? He's with in it? the minority of uh, that. Is. And I Ken think Ken Starr, by the way, agrees with him. Ken Starr had a memo during the Clinton investigation saying the exact same thing Tribe says. But they're in the minority in the Justice Department too, so the practicality of it is it's unlikely. But I think what is going to happen is that the whole picture that emerges from 
a Mueller report if he's not indicted on who he has been hanging around with and what he's been done is going to affect the 2020 election. Is he going to make it to the 2020 election? Well, I, yeah. I'm going to predict in 2019 that he will be gone. Why? Um, because, Resignation? Impeachment? Uh, not what? clear why, but the cumulative effect on him, trying to avoid jail for him, uh, trying to preserve whatever of his own personal assets. Trying to be sure his kids don't avoid jail, by well, the way. Well, that's I'll also true. Flynn. No, no, I agree. I think. How I, about you? Well, I'll get to you one uh, second. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, Not your hopes. I'm conflicted. I'm about to say, yeah. I'm conflicted between hopes. What do you hope. think is going to happen? I think it'll be 2019 as well. I think it's just a, a matter of time. Uh, I'm just as terrified in some ways of the vice president uh, as I am of the president for different reasons. The potted plant. And, and that, <laughs> exactly. that is why he will never be impeached. Yeah. Well, uh, there's one, well, never, one good before reason. Before we go to Jennifer, why, why do you think he'll go? Voluntarily in 2019? I think, that, that, I think I've said before that whether the smoke this fire, I think, is coming. He is, the swamp is heavy. Uh, and he brought a, a swampier, if you want to say that, um, delegation to, to D.C. And it's coming that he will... He will pay for that. You seem to be the dissenter. You think he makes it to 2020. Why? Unless he decides he's no longer interested and, and he wants to go do something else, which is possible with this guy. Um, I will dial back a little bit what I just said, that he mm. will never be impeached. The only circumstance under which he will be impeached is if a large number of Republicans right. decide that he needs to be impeached. He will never be impeached. Yes on the basis of Democrats alone, because Democrats don't want him impeached. They and don't want my happened with Nixon. Well, also. by the way, it took a while for Nixon, too, the convention exactly. was the Republicans, until that Supreme Court decision, the so-called smoking gun right. uh, tapes.